right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks a lot, and thank you for tuning in to the Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh. Give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number, or you can always reach out to me on Twitter tonight, at Richie Walsh. Uh, I've unblocked a lot of people, so maybe um, we are now friends again on Twitter, and you can send me a tweet. Um, we're talking about the Pirates right now just because, watching the end of the game, Daniel Hudson uh, comes in in the ninth inning, single, 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 game over after an unbelievable top of the ninth where Josh Bell hit another home run to left, scoring uh, Andrew McCutcheon and the Pirates needed two runs to tie it. They got it 4-4. Um, but Hudson, the $5.5 million man, comes in and gives up single, single, single for the Pirates to lose in the bottom of the ninth. The Pirates had a little streak going um, four straight. Uh, that ends tonight. Um, Washington has second place wrapped up in the National League, so they're going to play the Cubs. Basically, no matter what happens in this series, the Pirates, they're going to uh, head to the offseason here in three games. But, hey, got to commend the Buckos lately. They've been fighting. Uh, they've been playing pretty well. Uh, Glass now pitched three and two-thirds tonight after Nova exited the game. And, you know, hopefully we're going to see something uh, somewhat of a better Glass now next year. The Pirates have a lot of things to take care of in the offseason, and this potentially could be Andrew McCutcheon's final series with the Pirates. Three games left for him. Yesterday could have been his final game at home in a Pirates uniform. So if you want to talk about Andrew McCutcheon, give me a call. I think the Pirates need to sign him, need to extend him. Uh, he has one year left in this offseason, December, the Major League Baseball meetings. That's when they possibly would trade him, almost did it last year, to the Nationals. I mean, the Nationals did what they wanted. They wanted another player in that deal. And so the Nationals went out and got Adam Eaton from Chicago. Um, but I'd imagine uh, at least the Pirates maybe are in a position of strength now because McCutcheon, one for four tonight, ending on a good note, had a really hot month earlier in the year, Started slow, but, um, you know, at least he has some trade value this year heading into the offseason where last year didn't have much of anything. So, um, you know, they could play that card, and, and I think that they will. Um, but I would like to see them do the opposite and extend them and try to keep this outfield together, keep this team together, and you still have some young pitching. Maybe go out and get another pitcher um, as a fourth starter. Then you have Trevor Williams who I think could be your fifth starter. Maybe put Glass now in the bullpen, long-range kind of guy, and then you know get him used to the majors because um, he's been dominant in the minor leagues, and he can't do much more there. So um, he, he has developed, but he hasn't developed into a major league pe pitcher quite yet. But one guy that's definitely developed into a major league ball player is Josh Bell, and maybe it's a passing of the torch. Last night, McCutcheon, potentially his last few games with the Pirates and Josh Bell having a spectacular stretch here and spectacular rookie season. Um, so we'll talk about the Pirates if you want. Um, also some Steelers news today. Injury news not so good. A lot of guys on the injury list. A lot of guys limited today. A couple guys didn't practice. Uh, Martavis Bryant, Ramon Foster, neither guys practiced. Uh, Marcus Gilbert practiced yesterday. Limited today, which is not a good sign. Also along, uh, a bunch of guys limited, like I said, Mike Mitchell, uh, Dupree, Jesse James, Sean Davis. So we'll see about tomorrow. Tomorrow is a good indication. If they practice tomorrow, then more than likely that they'll play on Sunday, one of these guys. And it looks like arrows pointing up for uh, TJ Watt, Stefan Tuitt. In the game, both guys full practice for the second straight day. Now, two had practiced last week and didn't play on Sunday, but I'd imagine both of those guys will be in on Sunday. And one thing that the Steelers need to do is get that offense going, get that run game going. I had a chance to, we had a chance to talk to Le'Veon Bell earlier today, and you'll hear that interview coming up on KDK TV News after the game. So you might have to stay up late uh, if you want to 
hear that interview with Le'Veon Bell. So we're talking Steelers, Pirates, and maybe some pit football if you're interested. I found out that Max Brown will be the starter this Saturday. So what do you think that Pat Narduzzi went with Ben DiNucci last week, now going with Max Brown, who was named the starter back in August and hasn't thrown a touchdown pass against an FBS opponent yet, um, hasn't looked good back there, and he's going back with them because I, I'm, I imagine that he's the, the better quarterback. They think he's the better fit right now, uh, Ben DiNucci. Um, he, he, he's shown the ability to make some plays here and there, but not consistent. Neither one of them have been consistent. So we'll see. Max Brown has a better arm. If he can start hitting guys downfield, they need to open things up a little bit. Maybe Rice is the team to get things going. The Panthers are a 20-point favorite, so they are heavy favorites despite what happened the last three games to win this game at home against Rice. So those are the three topics for tonight. If you want to give me a call, 412-575-2600 is the number, or you can always hit me up on Twitter at Richie Walsh. See you in a couple minutes.